What's up with it, everybody? This KT back at you once again with Straight Facts Boxing Talk. And before we get into this next conversation, do two things for me. Hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Now we got breaking news for you. It looks like the wait is finally over. It looks like Amir King Khan has finally chose the opponent that he's gonna face next. And the reason I say finally is because he's been giving us the run around for months and months now. He's been telling Kel Brook that he's gonna fight Kel Brook. The last thing we heard is that they couldn't get an agreement on what weight they was gonna fight at. And then Kel Brook was like, all right, I dropped down to 147 to get that work. And Amir Khan still was hesitant on giving Kel Brook that fight. The fight that Kel Brook has been asking for for years. The fight that the UK fans have been wanting to see for years. But all in all, he finally chose the opponent that he's going to fight next. It's going to be April the 20th, most likely, at MSG, and that's Madison Square Garden Arena in New York, and the opponent is none other than Terrence Bud Crawford. And you know, I can't lie to y'all, I'm excited about this one right here, because this is a hell of a matchup for both of these fighters. You got to look at it and look at Terrence Crawford. He's never been beaten. And right now, he's 2-0 since moving up to the 147-pound welterweight division. And then if you look at Amir Khan, Amir Khan, he done been beat a few times. But the main thing with him is that chin. So, if you can't get Amir Khan out of there, nine times out of ten, you can't outbox Amir Khan. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and think about it. When was the last time you seen Amir Khan just get outboxed? Raise your hand if you've ever seen Amir Khan just get outboxed. Put your damn hands down. Can't nobody see you raising your hand. <laughs> Amir Khan ain't never got outboxed. I ain't never seen Amir Khan get outboxed. I've seen Amir Khan get roughed up. I've seen Amir Khan actually lose a couple decisions that he should have won. But most of all, if Amir Khan got any losses on his record, most of all, it's due to his chin not holding up. Now that's one thing that Amir Khan will do. He will get hit in that chin and he will crumble. You know, he will crumble as soon as he get hit in that chin hard and he will go night night. But other than that, Amir Khan can box his ass off. <laughs> and then if you look at it on the other side, Terrence Bud Crawford, he could box his ass off too. You ain't never seen nobody outbox Terrence Bud Crawford. And Terrence Bud Crawford, he will put you on your ass. Now, but the only question mark is, is Terrence Bud Crawford's resume. You know, everybody, a lot of people say that Terrence hasn't really fought nobody. That his resume is weak. So we don't know how good he really is against top opposition. You know, that's what a lot of people say. And another question mark is Terrence Crawford's power at the 147 pound division. Yeah, he has two stoppages so far, but people are still questioning his power at the 147 pound division. So with that being said, can Terrence Bud Crawford outbox Amir Khan? If Terrence Bud Crawford can't get Amir Khan out of the, out of there by knockout, 
can he go in there and outbox Amir Khan? Huh. That remains to be seen. And to tell you the truth, I really don't know. I don't know if Terrence Bud Crawford can just go in there and outbox Amir Khan. Now, before y'all say anything and start saying stupid shit in the comment section, I'm going to let you know like this. I'm picking Terrence Crawford to win the fight. I'm picking Terrence Crawford to go ahead and tap that chin of Amir Khan and get him up out of there. You know, I'm picking him to get up, get him up out of there in the mid rounds, maybe six, seven, eight. But I am picking Terrence Crawford to get Amir Khan out of there. But if Terrence Crawford can't get Amir Khan out of there, don't be surprised if Amir Khan outboxes Terrence Crawford and wins on the scorecards. Because it's not out of reach for, Ter- for Amir Khan to go in there and outbox Terrence Crawford and win on the scorecards. Because like I said, Amir Khan can box his ass off. He has very fast hands. You know, he work you with them combinations. And people, most people that get in the ring with Amir Khan... If they can't get him out of there, they have real, real problems with his hand speed and his boxing ability. Look at when Amir Khan got knocked out by Danny Garcia. Amir Khan was beating the dog shit out of Danny Garcia. He was actually making Danny Garcia look like an amateur. He made Danny Garcia look real bad and Danny Garcia couldn't do shit with Amir Khan. But what happened was, huh, Danny Garcia finally found that chin of Amir Khan. And when he found that chin, it was night night. You dig what I'm saying? And then let's go to Canelo. A guy that Amir Khan moved up damn near two weight classes to fight. Amir Khan was making Canelo look bad boxing his head off for the first three or four rounds but what happened once again is Canelo found that chinny chin chin of Amir Khan and it was night night Amir Khan didn't wake up until the next day (laughs) so like I said and don't get me wrong I'm not knocking Amir Khan because I think Amir Khan is a hell of a fighter and I like Amir Khan. But all I'm saying is that Chin, he got to watch that Chin. And Terrence Crawford, let's see if he's capable and has the power of putting Amir Khan on his ass. Now recently, Amir Khan just fought not too long ago. And if you ask me, Amir Khan, he didn't look that good against the guy that he was fighting, Samuel Vargas. Yeah, he did win. He won convincingly and clearly. But Samuel Vargas is not a top fighter. Samuel Vargas is a C-minus level fighter at best. A guy that Terrence Crop, I mean, I'm sorry, a guy that Errol Spence Jr. walked through like he was nothing and got him up out of there. Amir Khan he was having a little bit of problems with Samuel Vargas and for a minute it looked like Samuel Vargas had tapped that chin and Amir Khan was gonna go but nevertheless Amir Khan held on to get the decision victory but he didn't look that good now was it because of ring rust I'm pretty sure that had a lot to do with it Amir Khan hasn't been that active at all so you know he probably had a lot of ring rust but he didn't look that good and then we go to Terrence Crawford's last fight Terrence Crawford at parts in that fight he didn't look that good you know Terrence Crawford let's just be straight up about it Terrence Crawford was getting hit a lot by a guy that can't box near as good as Amir Khan by a guy that had 
a bad knee injury that couldn't move he had no lateral movement at all all he could do is come straight for it and Terrence Crawford was still getting hit a lot during that fight so what is it going to look like when Terrence Crawford and Amir Khan get in the ring and lock up with each other so all I'm saying is that yeah I'm picking Terrence Crawford to find that chin and get Amir Khan out of there but I'm telling you right now, if Terrence Crawford don't get a mere con out of there, don't be surprised if you see a mere con win on the scorecards. Because a mere con is very, very capable of outboxing Terrence Crawford and anybody in that welterweight division. So this is a hell of a fight for both guys because if Terrence Crawford go in there and knock out Amir Khan and do it in devastating fashion these guys they can't say nothing about Terrence Crawford's resume no more and they gonna have to give Terrence Crawford that smoke that he been asking for because that puts him at the top top of the division even more than what he already is if he go in there and knock out a big name like Amir Khan you know and as far as Amir Khan this is a great fight for him but this is kind of the pressure is really not on Amir Khan and I'm going to tell you why the reason the pressure is not on Amir Khan is because if Amir Khan loses Everybody already expected Amir Khan to go in there and lose to Terrence Crawford. And Amir Khan, if he loses, he still can make big money fighting Kell Brook in the UK. That's still a big money fight that those UK fans and a lot of American fans are still going to watch and pay for to see. So, you know, the pressure's not on Amir Khan. If Amir Khan can beat Terrence Crawford, Amir Khan is going to be in position to fight anybody in that division that he wants to fight that'll take a fight with him. And ain't no guy going to duck Amir Khan. Amir Khan is going to be able to fight anybody he wants. He's going to be able to fight Manny Pacquiao because then that's a huge, big money fight. He's going to be able to fight Errol Spence if he want to. I doubt he'll want to, but he's going to be able to fight. He might even be able to get Floyd Mayweather to come out of retirement to fight him. Like I said, if Amir Khan can mess around and beat Terrence Crawford, hey, huh, that's going to be real crazy. And it's going to be much more devastating for Terrence Crawford if Terrence Crawford mess around and get outboxed by Amir Khan because it's going to mess up everything that they got going on or got planned for Terrence Crawford in the future that big huge fight with Errol Spence that's probably going to be off the table and then everybody at the 147 pound division they'll have an even bigger excuse not to fight Terrence Crawford because they going to they gonna say look He's not that good. We told y'all he was never that good. His resume was never that good. He was just fighting lower level opposition. And when he finally stepped up and fought an opponent that could box, a real opponent, he lost. And you see what happened. So that's just what they going to say. So basically, what I'm telling you is that Terrence Crawford better go in there and win with devastating fashion because all the pressure is on Terrence Crawford. And either way you look at it, this going to be a hell of a fight. I'm looking and I'm picking Terrence Crawford, like I said, to go in there and do his thing and get Amir Khan up out of there. But if he don't, don't be surprised if Amir Khan get that win and outbox Terrence Crawford. Now, with all that said, this is Straight Facts Boxing Talk. Once again, go ahead and hit that like button and don't forget to